Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Photography Tips and Tricks, your show for gear, tips, inspiration, anything you need to get your photography to the next level. My name's RC, and I have a very, very simple production tip for you. It's the use of this. This is a flag, right? And a lot of the times, people worry about reflectors and diffusers and all sorts of different types of things, but I gotta tell you, probably one of the most powerful things you can own is the use of a flag. Now, let me explain to you how this works from a product photography standpoint. This is something that you can obviously take care of inside of Photoshop, but why would you want to? Take a look at this here. So here we have, right, I have a stand and I have another stand here. And basically they're two iPads, which are highly reflective surfaces, right? If you move to the right, you move to the right, already you're noticing there's a problem here, there's a problem here. We we're trying to do this with window light here, here, and here. And as you're looking and you go through this, right, that looks really nice, right? So these are from a company called Element Case that I'm a big fan of. So that looks okay, but look at what happens here and here, right? So why have to worry about that or why fill some of that stuff up inside of Photoshop? A lot of the times what I usually tell people is if you were to use a flag like this, right? Basically, all this does is it just blocks light. Right? It's a pretty big one and it gets a lot of use. Rather than having a collapsible one that I fold, what I'll do is I'll usually get one that has this kind of stem here. What this does is it lets you attach it to grip equipment. So if you're working by yourself and you want to go ahead and set it up and get it in one spot, attaching it this way is definitely a very good thing. And then from there, you can go ahead and leave it on a light stand, you can go back and do a shot. So that's something that while it's very, very small and while you could do it inside of Photoshop, you don't necessarily want to. So take a look, here's one that we did that did have a flag. So automatically, right, a lot better, right, a lot cleaner, so all of that stuff looks a lot better. So just carry it with you. It's a very simple trick. It's a very simple tip. Just having one with you, bouncing it right over the top can make all of the difference with your product photography. Now, when we take a break, I wanna kind of finish this up, right? Because it looks good. The case and the stand look really nice, but the screens are kind of blown out. How do we fix that? You'll see that when we come back here. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you go to kelby1.com. You can see the, first, the second half of this, as well as other episodes of Photography Tips and Tricks. We'll see you guys soon.